Margaret, darling. It is wonderful, wonderful to see you again. Yes, I just got back from a wonderful vacation around the world. As you know, only the best for me. <laughs> How are you, darling? Yes. So, Margaret, we spent a lovely trip around the world. Yes, the trip around the equator of the massification is the personification of the world. And you can only do it once or twice in a lifetime. It's the most expensive trip in the world. So why not indulge at least once? <laughs> oh, Margaret, I packed up the finest finest clothing and the finest jewelry that I had and my wonderful wonderful furs and stuff oh Margaret it was just delightful oh the sights and the food oh the decadence and the opulence of the food was just phenomenal can you believe it <laughs> Book a flight, it's the most expensive flight in the world, but that's what living is, Margaret. <laughs> so, by the way, did you hear the latest about Karen? Oh my God, it just gets worse and worse. Oh my Lord, clutch my pearls and my hat. <laughs> oh, poor thing. It's just horrible, you know? She caught her husband and her brother together, and then the husband kicked her out. But you know, something happened off for quite some time, I hear. You know, I am not one to gossip, Margaret. But you know, you know this too. You know this too, so you're not hearing it for the first time. <laughs> you know, it's just going all around from country club to country club, from golf course to golf course. Oh my word. So the husband kicked her out and only let her take the clothes that she arrived in. He said, you came with nothing, you leave with nothing. Oh. So when she married him, he was smart enough to make her sign a prenuptial agreement and she was stupid enough not to read all the fine print. Right. She should have got something out of the deal. I mean, 90 years old, I'm sure he wasn't dropping it like it was hot. <laughs> you know, she thought she married a cash cow. She ended up being the cow just grazing the grass with nothing to show for it. See, that's why it's good to have your own, Margaret. You should always have your own. You go into these relationships. I'm telling you, she should have started up a few businesses all this time she's been with him. Ha! Huh. You know, the manipulation of the proclamation, she should have got her share. She was with him for 10 years. What? That had to be worth something. Oh, my God. But, you know, she did find him in a tight spot. Her husband and her brother. <laughs> Maybe that's who he wanted all along. Oh, dear, my Lord. Darling, I hear that her husband had his sights on her brother this whole time. So perhaps she was the one getting played. Yes, but I hear the brother denied the husband over and over. My husband knows his friend because he cleans our house. Yes, so he gives us all the latest scoop. But you know this, don't you know all of this? So I'm not one to gossip here because you know all of the latest scoop. Absolutely, my pearls keep popping and breaking with all of this. It's just too much. I'm going to have to go to the spa. Yes. What is this work? coming to I just knew that that relationship will last until the end as they say till death do us part I tell you my pearls cannot be clutched anymore from what I hear how it all began her brother went to her house looking for Karen 
Karen wasn't there, she was probably blowing a whistle somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, I hear he went to the house looking for Karen and Karen was not there. Would you believe it? She was out shopping. Don't let anyone cut in line in front of her. She's gonna call the popo on them. <laughs> So while the brother was there, the husband invited him in and said that he can wait. <laughs> can you believe what the husband said next? You will never believe this. Because he had his eyes on him for years. Years. Can you believe that? Who would have ever thought the husband wanted to be in such a tight <laughs> he wanted to be all the tight spots. So let me tell you. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is the finest, finest wine from around the world. You cannot find it anyplace else. It was made just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another shot? No? All right. So anyway, the husband said, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> wow. I wonder what that was. And as soon as he was going to answer, Karen come waltzes in with bags and her skin glowing just lovely because she had been to the spa for 89 hours and she's trying to look good for her husband and shopping in bags galore from all of the famous designer shops and she comes in and sees her brother and she looks at him and wonders why his face is white. Unbeknownst to her, she is clueless as to what happened last summer. I would love to know myself. <laughs> so I may try to get that scoop later. But you know, I am not one to gossip. Absolutely not. But you know this, right? You, <laughs> you know all of this already. <laughs> so anyway, Karen says, Oh my Lord, Daniel, you must, must go to my guy, the tan man. You need some color. Matter of fact, let's go now. She grabs his hand and waltzes out the door. Yes, leaving the husband. And I wonder what the husband knows what happened last summer. I wanna know what happened too. This is getting hotter by the minute. What happened last summer? Whew. These are some glasses. <laughs>